What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're taking a closer look at the top new features for Apple Watch available in Watch OS 2.0. This software is currently in beta, but brings some pretty cool changes that you should definitely know about. So first up, there are three new watch faces available here, and they aren't very complex or anything, but each one brings more customization to the table, which is definitely a win. The first new face presents a time lapse of five different cities, which can be customized in the watch face settings. Nothing special, but they look nice either way, and you can choose from one of five, like I said. There's also a new photo album face, which will display random pictures from an album synced to Apple Watch. And finally, we have a single photo face. This is definitely my favorite because it basically allows you to customize your own watch face background with anything available in your photos. Select a picture, customize the size, and create a new watch face. It's that simple. Next up, we have a nightstand mode, which will present a pleasant clock while your Apple Watch is charging and laying on its side. Unfortunately, if you use a dock, depending on the model, it may not allow for this charging orientation, but it's a nice little feature to have. You can even use the digital crown and side button to control the snooze and off functionalities for your set alarms. With watchOS 2.0, we can finally add friends directly from the friends screen. Just tap on the circular plus sign and select one of your contacts. It just makes sense to have this feature, so I'm glad Apple has finally decided to implement it within this beta release. Speaking of friends, if you use digital touch features with your contacts, you'll be happy to know that Apple has added support for multiple colors in drawings. If you start a digital touch drawing, all you'll need to do is tap on the color selector, choose a new color, and resume your masterpiece. Time travel is also a new feature with Watch OS 2.0, but don't get all Doc Brown on me just yet. This is actually a feature that allows you to twist the digital crown, speed up the clock, and reveal calendar events and other details planned throughout the day in real time. It's definitely much easier than launching the calendar app to find this information and should save you a minute or two when checking schedules. FaceTime audio is also available for Apple Watch with this upcoming release. This will provide better quality audio in some situations and rings through to Apple Watch just like a regular phone call. This probably should have been there at launch, but better late than never. Another feature late to the party is being able to reply to emails from Apple Watch. Prior to watchOS 2.0, you could only read the emails, but now we're presented with the same voice dictation and quick reply options found with text messages. Unfortunately, you'll be using the default mail app to take advantage of these features at the moment. There's not a ton of stuff being added with watchOS 2.0, but these features are definitely important and may impact the way you use Apple's wearable. Which feature is your favorite? Let me know with a comment below and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe if you're not already for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.